I'm going to show you guys factoring polynomials. There's a lot of different stuff that we're going to do when we're factoring polynomials. So I'll show you all the methods. This is uh, this. These are the problems that you need to be able to do, be able to do. Excuse me. So the first thing, um, if they give me something like p of x equals two x to the fourth plus eight x to the third plus 2x plus 8 and it says this is a factor x plus 4 find the other factors what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna factor this out so I'm gonna use synthetic division so it's gonna be a negative 4 this is gonna be a 2 8 2 8 first number comes down which is 2 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 add those together Remember that it goes one less. So this is going to be 2x to the third plus 2x. So it wants me to find the other factors. Well, I would factor by seeing what I can factor out of these. I can factor a 2 out of both of these and an x. What's left when I do that is x squared plus 1. So this is one of the factors, and this is the other factor and then the one that they gave me. So these are all the factors. And that's how I would look at it. If they wanted me to find the zeros, I could do that as well, but we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna factor, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do if they give you a factor is to reduce this, the equation down. And then from the new equation, you can factor by, by factoring out, finding a greatest common factor, or you can factor by, um, by, what we did before with the box method, um, or if it's perfect squares, you can do it that way. So you kind of got a lot of options on this guy right here, okay? I'm gonna do another example. Another example right here is, if they give me x to the third plus three x squared minus four x minus 12. If they give me four terms and they don't tell me any factors, I'm always gonna use factor by grouping. So I'm gonna put the first two terms in parentheses and the last two terms in parentheses. I want to see what I can get out of these first two terms. And what I can divide out of both of these is x squared. What I'm left with is x plus 3. And then I'm going to see what I can divide out of both of these, which is negative 4. And I'm going to be left with x plus 3. I want these to be the same. If they are the same, then that's one factor. And what's on the outside is my other factor. So that's what we're trying to do right there. Now this is the difference of two squares. What the difference of two squares is, is it means if I have a squared minus b squared, we already looked at this, it's gonna be a plus b, a minus b. And we did this a long time ago. And that's what this is. So it's gonna be x plus two, x minus two. And don't forget the x plus three that we just found. So this is all the factors of this guy up here. And that's the answer, okay? So that's the kind of stuff that we're trying to do on these guys right here, all right? Um, another example. Four terms, so I'm gonna factor by grouping. It's important that you get the signs in there with it because when I factor it out, I need to factor out that sign if it's with the first term. So I'm going to see what I can divide both of these by is 4y squared, which is going to leave me with 2y minus 1. I'm going to see what I can get out of here, which is negative 25, which is going to leave me with 2y minus 1. They're the same, so it's going to be 2y minus 1. And what's on the outside? 4y squared minus 25. Again, this is the difference of two squares, so it's going to be 2y plus 5. 2y minus 5, and then the one that I just got, 2y minus 1. And that's the final answer. Okay? <clears throat> now, you got a couple of special cases that we haven't seen before. You have the sum of, of two cubes. So what that says is if you have a cubed plus b cubed, it's going to equal a plus b times a squared minus 2ab plus b squared.
and that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna do on these guys every single time you see them okay so what this would look like would be x to the third plus 27 well 27 is the same thing as 3 to the third so this is the sum of two cubes since it's the sum of two cubes it's gonna become x plus 3 x squared minus 2 times x times 3 which is 6x plus b squared which is going to be 3 times 3 which is 9 and this is my final answer on that guy okay you also have the difference of two cubes difference of two cubes looks very similar except for its subtraction so what changes here is this becomes a minus instead of a plus and this becomes a plus instead of a minus oops squared the easiest way to remember that is what is going to give you a minus here is having a negative here because when I do b times b squared it's going to give me negative b cubed what's going to give me a plus here is a plus here b times b, cube, b squared is going to be plus b, b cubed so that's what we're looking for the difference on this guy is it would look like this 9x to the third minus 9 that's not what I wanted 27 27x to the third minus let's say 64 So 27 is the same thing as 3 cubed, which means it would be 3x cubed. Minus 64 is the same thing as 4 cubed. So then when I'm looking at this, it's going to be a, which is 3x, minus b, which is 4. a squared, which is 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared. And what I see people normally do is only square the x value, and that's why I'm showing you this one. Plus... 2 times a times b. So 2 times 3x is 6x times 4 is 24x. Plus b squared. 4 squared is going to be 16. And this is your answer, okay? And this is the kind of stuff that we're looking for here, okay? Now, the tricky part about this is sometimes... No, actually, we won't do those. You'll be okay. We're just going to try to get to here. 